do that. I already know how to play this game. This is the game I'm actually revisiting for the first time in a few months because I finally played this game seriously earlier this last year, actually, when I was visiting family. And because I bought this game a long time ago from Blockbuster and I liked it, but I never really got a chance to really dig deep into it. This turned out to be one of my favorite Nintendo 64 games, mostly because of how it handles the combo system. And we'll get to that in a second. Press down or the A button to proceed the training text. Okay, I don't care about this. Mascot. It's like the paperclip from Windows 95. Or was it? Yeah, it's from Microsoft Word, excuse me. Yeah, I'm using the control pad to play this game because we don't need a stick. And yeah, the frame rate's like probably in the 20s. But for a game like this, it's actually not so bad. Shadows in the shape of the current piece. Watch the shadows lined up with the matching shaped piece. Bada bang. Your shadow is lined up, the piece that is lined up, the width can be moved. This is called sliding. So you're sliding pieces around a play field in this game. And at the shadow, hold the B button, move the piece, and release the bunch. You hold down the B button to grab a piece, and you move it around, then release the button to let it go. In order to pass levels, pieces must be removed from the ball. Before a piece can be removed, you must first line up two matching pieces. So instead of matching colors, we're matching pieces. And colors, basically. All pieces are different colors. Shadow changes when the two pieces line up. It's actually a pretty good tutorial, all things considered. No, that's not too much to line up. Third piece can be added by pressing the A button. This will now be removed. Well, okay. Go to the next level. Small red hearts represent your lives, you have three lives. If you drop a piece you don't, and you do not have two pieces together, you will lose a life. Ugh, yeah, so don't drop a piece too early. <laughs> you gotta wait for that shadow to change colors, basically. Let's uncover a picture that appears on the core of the ball. Because you're, you're clearly clearing out levels until eventually the core of the ball appears. You have to move several layers deep on most levels, yeah. Which is where the game gets really interesting, actually. When three or more, sorry about the microphone there. When three or more pieces are removed from the ball together, this is called a combo. This is, where, this is where some of the depth shows up. Like that. Notice how the number six appears on the screen? This is your combo counter. Combo counter tells the number of pieces being broken in all current combos. Combos with less than 20 pieces give you power pieces. Which is... Power pieces have special properties. For combos starting with a power piece, the combo takes longer to finish. An advantage to this is that new combos can be started during that time, giving you a larger combo count. Kind of like chains, I guess. Chains and Tetris attack. That was a power combo? Anyway. It makes more sense in real time. Make a combo of 20 or more pieces, you get a magic power up. This is where we have a special button. I believe it's one of the I believe it's one of the yellow buttons here on the N64 controller. Notice the icon that appeared after the combo. This is, shows you your magic. That's what I forgot. It's like a magic rocket, I think. Removes many pieces from the ball very quickly. Blow up the ball basically. Press C press C down to use your magic. You know the camera button. C down. I can't believe you used to have camera buttons on the N64, but hey. We didn't know any better back then. We were trying to we were trying out we're gonna have the basics of 3D camera work back then. <laughs> they say I'm ready for Tetrisphere, huh? Let's at least look at the let's at least look at some more of the training. Advanced. It's where the game gets really interesting. Crystal pieces. Not the crystal gems, crystal pieces. The shadow covers a group of crystal pieces. They return into a power piece in the shape of a shadow. I don't remember this at all. Press the B button. But it's the same button used to grab pieces. Yeah, I don't remember that at all. 
Yeah, I don't remember crystal pieces at all. Uh, number that appeared in the color box called your X count. The X count is a multiplier value used for your combo score. It increases the amount of pieces sent to your opponent in versus games. But I don't play versus games. Gravity combos when a piece falls because of gravity and call it a combo. Here's a simple gravity combo. Move piece around. Notice that the piece on top will fall if the piece underneath is moved. Oh, yeah. Don't remember this at all. Since the piece that fell creates the combo, those pieces will break. Nice. Like a chain combo in a Tetris attack. Notice also that the gravity combo increase your X count. Gravity combo can be used to give you up to 10 X count power-ups. Let's do the Lance of Ads training level. This actually isn't that complicated. It's just a matter of getting, seeing the, how the game plays out in real time and getting used to and letting letting the strategies build on the basics, which is what I was doing when I was playing the game for two hours straight. Let that be. Hey, I never thought I would play a puzzle game for two hours straight, but I was. So credit where credit's due. When a piece breaks in a combo, it flashes. This is called a fuse, like a dynamite fuse. Fuse from a power combo can be moved by sliding. Oh, okay. If you slide a fuse to lap two or more pieces, this new combo will break. Like fusion, I guess. I don't remember this part of the game at all. I don't think I ever. I don't think I ever used it. Okay. So we'll practice that a bit later. I'm not going to need that in a real game. Okay, so let's change the music. This is a good music, but let's get some of the other songs to show up. Auto. Yeah, that's fine. Apparently the developer, I think they were human, uh, the developers, they made up a new uh, sound driver for this game. Because they didn't like the N64 capabilities. But let's be honest, the Super NES had custom sound drivers all the time. The South Craig Creations did it with Tom Fallen and them. Interplay did it with um, Lost Vikings and Lord of the Rings, so I'm not surprised. Uh, how about I start a new game? Okay, uh, I'm not going to beat T'Challa this time. Okay. Yeah, we're okay. Okay. I'll load a name later if I want to. I don't need a bot. Start. Uh, hmm. Let's do a regular rescue. Let's see how it goes. We'll do the fancier stuff later. We got 18 minutes on this video, so I'll just fill it up. Okay. Hold down the B button to slide pieces around. As I slide it around, you can see some of those uh, purple pieces disappearing. Let's drop this one for a combo of three. Whoop. Let's move it around again, then. I need to drop it somewhere, like here. That didn't work. Just a second. Slide this over. There we go. Now I can move this yellow piece over, hold down the B button, drop it in place by releasing the button. Okay, where's my combo? Okay, let me gotta practice this. This is not going well. I need a combo of three, apparently. Okay, so I screwed that up. Okay, I got that combo. <laughs> yeah, apparently I need a combo of three, but there's a combo of three. Hmm. Well, let's move this around. I okay, can't do that. Well, I lost a life there. Okay, I see a pretty long combo. So I got a square. I need to move a square over. Okay. So where do I drop the square? Uh, I don't think I can move the square over there. I need to practice. Give me a second. It's been a while since I played. Drop it there. So I press the A button to drop the piece. Okay. So I gotta drag pieces around, and then I have to press the A button to drop this piece on top. So let's put this piece here. So that's a combo. All right. So that released the guy right there, okay. So that means now that I know what I need to do to clear the level, I can start doing the fancier combos. So I can start delaying. Okay, I'm gonna drop a square piece somewhere, so let's line it up. Uh, yeah, I can drop it here. Yeah, I can drop it here and set up a longer combo right here. See that? Three squares there, three squares there. That's all I can do, so let's just drop it right here. Take that combo. Okay, it's another square coming up. 
so where can I drop this? Yeah, not a lot of places to put this. Okay, uh, can we make some room? Yes, yeah, clear out some space. Okay. So I'm holding down the B button to clear out these purple blocks. They're going to get in my way. I want to drop in a place where I know I can get a combo. Like here. Nope! Oh, I screwed it up. Okay, yeah, yeah, I screwed that up. Okay, never mind. I'll, sh I'll explain why later. Can I drop that here? No. I can drop it. Let me drop that here. Yeah, you know, I can drop it right there. Let's extend this combo a bit. I can't drop it there. And here. Okay, let's drop it here. That's a long enough combo. Okay, I got a, I got a square here. So let's set up a combo here. Can I set up a combo? Yeah, let's clear out some space. And I can move some squares over here. Yes, yeah, it'll go well. I'm gonna have to drop this pretty soon. Just drop it here. Nope, ran out of time. Okay, I'm losing a life here. So I don't want to get too cocky. Now I'm gonna have to start dropping squares because I have to. Okay, set up a combo here. That's a reasonably long combo. My sister was losing her mind. It's like, rescue him. I'm like, I'll do it eventually. <laughs> I, I like setting up long combos in this game. So you can set up a combo if you just want to, you know, clean up. But me, I'm trying to look at the long picture. Try to set up longer combos like this. Now, can I move this over? Yeah. It's not a great combo, but it's something. Yeah, that's a good combo. Move this over here. So that'll be a square right down here. That'll be a nice long combo. Can I slide these over? Let me see if I can slide that over. Okay, I've got time. Square. Okay, I cleared all that. Okay, so I'm on my last life. So let's, uh, let's start doing some... Let's stop dilly-dallying and do some important stuff. Okay, clear that out. Green blocks, drop the combo. It clears that out. Let's see if I can get a deep combo going. See, I want to clear out some spaces. Yeah, I want to get the white area unlocked. Okay, whoops. Not there. Whoops! That's all my lives. Okay, so you got to see the basics. I'll do. I'll play a better game next time. Don't worry. Because in real time, it's kind of hard to explain all this stuff in high speed. <laughs> Single. Let's do a hide and seek. Okay, hide and seek. So the idea is to hold down the B button to take one piece and slide it around on the board, getting rid of those purple blocks. And then eventually you press the A button to drop that shadow piece on top of a similar shaped piece or adjacent to one of those pieces. So if, you, so if it lines up perfectly, either on top or on, the, on either side, then it clears out that piece and any other perfectly adjacent pieces. Which is why you saw me lining up squares so that they form this big long chain of adjacent pieces which becomes one long combo, which all gets eliminated. One long chain that all gets eliminated once I drop my piece with the A button. Okay, dig through the piece with the A button, completely uncover a picture to win. Any picture, huh? Square, okay. Let's move these pieces over to slide, get those purple pieces out the way. I wanna see if I can set up a, an L shape or a perfect cross. That's a perfect shape. Let's get this over there. Line that up over there. Let's clear out these purples. Okay, we got a good shape going on here. Can I slide this over? Yep, that's a good spot. Crap. Yeah, so a perfect L is always good. Okay, I'm running out of time. Okay, just drop it here. So all those are going to clear. See that? I was setting up a perfect line of blues. Okay, I think I cleared it out. Yep, I got, I got the core. So you saw all I had to do there was set up one long combo and I completed that stage. Because the idea was to get all those blues lined up in like a, a perpendicular cross. Which is my, that's pretty much my strategy for most of the game. Move around the ball to find a pink drill poking out from out the surface. There are five drills. Doing under each of them until you find a picture. Okay, so... I don't have any long blue. Do I have any long blues coming up? 
Yeah, I got a blue right here. Can I slide this over? Yep, I can keep this. That means I can keep this blue going. Yep, see that? So I got a line of blues right here. Perfectly perpendicular. I don't think I can add any more here. Let's just make some space. Uh, yeah, we can drop it. No, we can't drop it there. Let's line these up while I'm at it. Oh, there's a drill over there. Okay, I'm pretty much done here. Okay, running out of time. Uh, where's my blue? Put it right there. So it clears out all those blues. Okay, can I slide that over? I can slide some of these over. Whoops, ran out of time. I might need some. I might need. I might need some sound effects here. I'll worry about that later. Can I slide that over? No. I can pick up these pistons on the bottom, by the way. So 3D leveling matters. Okay, can I line those up? Nope. I'll take those. Let's put that one over. Can I line this one up? Yep. So I can put the yellow bar right there. So let's line these up so I can extend the combo. Okay, running out of time. Line this one up. And let's drop the yellow piece. And all... Yep, all those are gone. Okay, so now what? Crap. Alright, uh, we got a problem. Okay, yeah, I gotta drop this somewhere. Drop it here. That's safe. Okay, uh, blue. Darn it. Drop the blue. Oh, I didn't, I didn't have a piece to drop. That was weird. Okay, I gotta, I gotta practice this. Yellow. Let's slide that one over. I'll make it work. Give me a second. Okay, drop that one down. And over. Can I move these? Not really. Darn it. Okay, I'm not screwing that up. I'm not screw that up. There we go. That's what I want. There. Okay. So now I can keep this going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I move this up? Nope. Okay, let's drop the yellow piece there. That'll clear those out. Okay, blue. Okay, I'm gonna need some blues here. Drop a blue here and drop it here. I'll clear those blues out. Blue. No big blue combos, huh? Nope, doesn't look good. Okay, drop that blue here. Good enough. Okay, uh, yellows, yellows. Those are good yellows. We got good yellows going here. Yeah, right down there. Okay, can't put that there. Okay, let's drop that here. That clears out those yellows. Okay, blue. Need to, need to get. I need a good place for this blue. Not great, but it'll do. Okay, it makes a little space here. Let's drop the blue right here. Good. So clear out the blues underneath. A yellow. Get these yellows in line. Right there. Not there. Here. Okay. Time's up. Okay, drop the yellow here. Clears out all those yellows, and that gives us an open space, right? Not yet. We're almost there, though. These blues might help us clear out the open space. All right. So these blues can be over here. I can slide a few over there. Time's up. Do what you got to do. Blue. Whoops! Oh, I put it in the wrong spot. Ah, idiot. Okay. But again, you saw what I was trying to set up there. Okay, one, okay, we're almost out of time on this video, it looks like. Yep, we're out of time. Exit, try again. Don't worry, we're going to play a lot more of this game.